welcome to Hidden Agenda. Hi guys, today I am in a game called Hidden Agenda. So this is a really cool game because you use your, your phone as your con as your controller. So uh, um, the only one I can do is this. So I'm gonna do that. In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. Uh, guys, no one is playing with me just now. But if you do want Kaden or someone to play with me, just comment down below. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll force them to buy it. So, yeah, let's start. Ripple fix, no, it's really good sense of a single event or action. Every choice you make changes the future. Some effects, some affects relationships between characters. Other makes waves that change everything. Choose wisely. Yes, I know I will. Oh, hello. Are you praying to God? I think so. And uh, so a guy's praying to God. He's got scratches all on him. Oh, is that bomb? My God, I think that's a bomb. Oh my God. No wonder why he's praying. Oh, oh God, do 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 do. Did did do not open that. Do not open it. Oh my god. Yeah. Well there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he's dead. Six weeks later. Rapper. Okay, I'll, I'll let you guys watch this. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook college. What's the play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. Okay. Caution, let's go up here. Oh, we'll take front. Oh. I'm thinking we walk right through the front door. Catch my car. Trophy, choose wisely. Okay, I chose wisely then. Hug. Please. Stick together, split up. Um. Don't know why it was split up. Don't know why I did that. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs. Okay, out. okay, okay. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. Okay. Let me move then. Um. How many is there? The trapper's calling guard. CSR. The trophy. The hostage rucksack. A uh, paintboard with pictures of the trapper's victims. Ok, 
okay, I'll let you guys watch this. Oh my god, he's trapping, he's trapping them. Bear trap. Onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. You got a gun to say them. Um. Hands behind your head. No sudden moves. Uh, I'm not gonna shoot him. I don't think he deserves to get shot. No, not shooting. <laughs> Peacemaker. I will shoot. Don't shoot! Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me out of here. Um. Hands up, take it easy. Um. Take it easy. Okay. okay. Easy. Easy now. Let's just take this nice and slow. It's over, freeze. No. Don't know. I'm not sure. Him. Tom, really? I think his name's Tom. Hmm? The hunt for the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. Ooh. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Yeah, I thought so. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan it's not really a game. Confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so, has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Jonathan Finn. You have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Hidden agenda. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. Okay. Five years later.
two new John Doe's. That's a dozen active cases in the last two weeks. We're on a hot streak here, and it ain't in the right direction. We're doing our best, sir. At least, some of us are. Son of a bitch. We're all on the same team here. Bring us some wins. That's all. Hey. Don't let Calvary get to you. Ever since he got internal affairs eyes on you, he acts like some kind of moral crusader. At this point, I just tune him out. Seriously. You doing all right? That guy, sorry if you can hear a hoover, but I got the jerk, not really. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Uh, something about him. Got your message. Heading to see your party now. Sorry, I missed it. Until Dawn Games look so real. I mean, until Dawn Games? These games that the people who made until Dawn made, like. This game was by the people who made Until Dawn, and they always look so real. It's what I was trying to see. Um, I know how to get what I want. I'm ready to hear it. I'm ready to hear it. Listen to me. I don't like you. I believe in my duty, and that is to listen to what you have to say. But that window is closing fast. So speak up. It was Adam. Adam? Adam was my best friend at the orphanage. And he killed those people. Um, I'm listening. Adam doesn't exist. Uh, I'm listening. But you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I. Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. Then, a couple of years later, centuries, I find Adam tracks me down online. He keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly what I'm making today. So we made an arrangement. I wrap myself out, take the heat off him. Spend a couple of months in the clinic and then away. Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Galinsky running an orphanage. Fox in the henhouse. You have no idea what it was like in there. 
Gonna draw me a treasure map? All I can do is point you in the right direction, but uh, no, nope. you got one. Use it. I kind of need to show you myself. Hmm? So you're telling so the truth. Let's say you're telling the truth. You don't know where he is now. Sounds to me like he's left you high and dry. I know what happens. Kind of places he hangs around. We could go together, check it out. We gotta get you more than that, or you know. What? I can't take it! I'm not supposed to be here! It's not supposed to go like this! Ben! Stop it! This is insane. Adam told me this wouldn't happen. He told me I'd be out by now. He promised! If this is all true, I will make sure you don't die a liar, okay? okay. I, will I will look, look into, into Adam Jones. If he's out there, I'll find him. Hmm. Do you believe... Guys, do you believe Jonathan Finn? I don't really... I don't really believe him. Take it to judge. Yeah, let's yeah. take it to judge. You're right. Let's take it to judge Banstone and what happens. Thank you, Wesley. Don't thank me. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass and fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? Uh, I don't have doubts. It adds up. It adds up. Time is certainly convenient, but... I mean, I have doubts. No, I don't have doubts. Well, at least some version of it. So far, it adds up. Has anyone spoken to you? Oh, oops, I didn't mean that. He's been presumed dead for years. That's quite a stretch, don't you think? Even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? I think he can help us. We won't know unless we try. I think he can help us. I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there and we need time to find it. Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? He could help us, not my police to choose. If I say not my police to choose, he will definitely say no. I'm going to say he could help us. I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. 
All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release in the police custody. Yes. But only for three hours, no more. What? Thank you. Three hours. Hey, Lana, you're not gonna believe this. He actually went for it. Surprise the heck out of me. Wow. Nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. Trophy. Ace in the hole. <clears throat> Forty three hours until Finn's execution. Outrageous. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judges. Just doing my job. A man is about to die. I'm just doing my job, Detective Calvary. I try not to miss things that might be important. I know that's what the foreign consequence here. I'm not gonna punch a DA. Not a lady one, at least. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? He's... He, there is something there just... Just covering every response. Uh, I, think, oh. I think there's something there. Judge thinks so too. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Ruminski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? Shit, no. I would remember they found something like that. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. Uh, I don't think so. So no reason <coughs> to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had more. True. He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even <laughs> found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, wow. right? That was he has the no hair at all. social worker. And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it. Two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. Didn't ask for uh, running. I'll let him. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Martin, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but... That night, everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. Three weeks for him to find Finn's arrest. I really like this game, actually. Ender trailer search area search area The first time I don't even mean to go for the entry I think this is sick. 
barricade out where we're playing us. This is 609. I'm the CFBIP. Hope an exit on the highway. No perp. Gonna make an entry to the train. 609 acknowledged. Caution advised. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm going in from the beginning. Oh, from the door. Oh crap! I'm bad at looking for clues. Uh. Okay, one clue. One clue. One clue. One clue. Let me move. I even find any other. I oh, only got two clues. Bomb making equipment. Wire cars. Was there another? I don't know. Oh God. <sighs> oh God. Her name's Catherine. Okay, okay, okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I... I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh, God. Please, help me. Please. What's happening? Okay, guys, I'm going to stop here and I'll see you next time. Bye.